All right, hopefully this will be a quick little video. Uh, just gonna be a quick one for installing the tire rack that is an option for the trailers, the 124th scale uh, trailer kits that I make. So uh, there's another video uh, that shows how to put the basic trailer together. So, uh, so be sure and watch that one first if you got the uh, trailer kit. And then uh, to do the tire rack, uh, we'll, we'll just run through it real quick and um, show you how to do that. So uh, let's set that aside. And let's dump out all of our parts. Ramps, triangular side parts. There's a large and a small cross brace. So uh, um, there's two holes on the larger one. We'll put that on second. And then uh, we'll start with this piece. It's a smaller one, uh, slight curve, and then uh, has a single hole on each side. So we will start with it and this frame here. You'll see there's three uh, holes on each side. Uh, that's because it's adjustable. So um, what you can do is, I, I usually just start with the center one. Um, it just depends on the size of the tires that you're gonna try to put uh, in it. And you can always adjust it, you know, afterwards. So um, let's just start with it and put a screw in. And as usual, these are plastic parts, so you don't need to necessarily, um, you know, torque these things all the way down. You you can strip out the the hole. All right. So um, the way you know that this is going the right way is there's if you look at it from the side here, this is flush here. That's actually going to be the front, and then this is going to be the back side. You want that little bit of slope on the back side there. So once we've got that together, you can just slide it right in there. From there, what we'll do is we'll take one of these uh, triangular parts. They, they do go on a certain side. If you look again, this is flush. It's going to be flush with the inside. So we're going to take this one, put it here, and then this one flush on that side. So that's going to go to the inside. From there, you'll see there are screws at the top and the bottom. There's also this screw hole that was already on the trailer. Uh, that will hold it, uh, hold the whole brace, uh, the whole tire rack down. So I'm going to go ahead and put a screw in uh, all three of these holes on each side. Okay, next we're going to take the larger piece and I usually just start, if you look on the side here, there's four holes. I usually start with uh, the second one from the bottom and then if you need it a little tighter, you can move it on up. So there are two holes here, and I always start with putting uh, this bottom hole that's going to go like this uh, on in right here on the second hole of the triangular piece. So let me get some screws in there. Okay, and here's why I always start with just putting the one uh, bottom screw on is because that way uh, if I want to make sure the tires uh, stay in there what you can do is you can put the tire down in there and go ahead and when you line up that other hole it will it can uh, clamp against the tire uh, this particular tire I probably would want to move it up uh, one more but once you get the tire in there and you can go ahead and put the second screw in all right and there we go 
uh, we've got the the tire rack on there that's that's pretty much all there is to it again um, you can adjust this up one more or down I usually just start right there with the two in the middle um, if you need to adjust this bar up and down you just have to take out uh, these three screws on each side so that you can get access to the screws on the inside because um, once you take actually once you take these two screws out that center part will slide right out so um, as far as the ramps go uh, nothing special with those Let's see if you can see this this part here is offset uh, on purpose so you can actually if you need it uh, narrower you can make sure that uh, the, the little blank area is to the inside that way um, if you need it a little wider then you can swap them and it'll it'll actually make it a little wider um, I didn't design it this way but I found that you can actually turn them around backwards and they sit pretty well uh, right there so that way they they can sort of stay with you but um, other than that uh, it's it's ready to haul it this is a mini z uh, 128 scale car so so there we go that's it um, that's a probably one of my quicker videos so so if you have any uh, questions or anything like that obviously uh, feel free to, to hit me up uh, these are uh, available on my eBay and Etsy shops. So, uh, so let me know if you have any questions. And other than that, um, have fun pulling your race cars and spare tires around. Thanks a lot and keep on crawling.